Hello students, myself Dr. Elizabeth Sojan. Today we are going to learn about 10 important long essays you must know before writing university exam. Okay, so in case of oral pathology, which are the 10 important long essays. Okay, coming on to the long essays, I have told you the first 10 important long essays you must know before writing the exam. So the first one being the developmental disturbances affecting the structure of the teeth. In that particular chapter, you should be thorough about the structure, developmental disturbances affecting structure of teeth, especially amelogenesis imperfecta and dentinogenesis imperfecta. Coming on to the second question, second question from the odontogenic cyst and tumor chapter. So here you have to learn about the classification of both odontogenic cyst as well as tumors. You, you must be thorough with the classification and in case of long essay, they will also ask you in detail about OKC, odontogenic keratocyst or they can even ask you about radicular cyst. So you must be thorough about OKC as well as radicular cyst. Third question they can ask you. They can even ask you about classification of ontogenic tumors as I told you just now and you must be thorough about the amyloblastoma. The fourth important question you must know is what are the pre-marignan lesions and what are the pre-marignan conditions. That particular table abular column, column is given in the Schaeffer's textbook. Okay. 8th edition as plus 9th edition is given. So just see into the pre-marignan lesions and conditions table. Okay. And detail about leukoplakia you must be thorough about leukoplakia histopathology the diagram everything must be very very thorough okay then coming on to the fifth fifth important question is that of oral squamous cell carcinoma they can give and ask you everything about squamous cell carcinoma so just learn about oral squamous cell carcinoma the clinical features the pathogenesis okay the histopathology all this is very very important and in the same you should also learn about mild dysplasia moderate dysplasia and severe dysplasia Coming on to the next important question is classification of salivary gland neoplasm. So, which all classification you must be thorough about? You should be thorough about the classification of odontogenic cyst. You should be thorough about the classification of odontogenic tumors and also salivary gland tumors. Okay. And along with the classification from that particular chapter, you should be thorough about pleomorphic adenoma. They can even ask you a note on adenoid cystic carcinoma and also mucoepidermoid carcinoma. So, all these three lesions you must learn. Okay, coming on to the seventh important question that is dental caries. Okay, in that particular chapter, you should be thorough about the zones of histological zones of enamel as well as dentinal caries. Okay, so these are the questions you should be very, very thorough just before the exam, half an hour before the exam also, you should just go through these important questions. The eighth important question is from the diseases of bones chapter that is fibrous dysplasia. Okay. Fibrous dysplasia is very very important question and ninth important question is classification of vesicular bullous lesion from the skin chapter you should be knowing thoroughly about the classification of vesicular bullous lesion then detail about lichen planus and also about femficus vulgaris so any question paper if you see this is very very important okay and the last question they can even ask you about trigeminal neuralgia as a long essay okay trigeminal neuralgia so these are the 10 important long essays any student should study and go for the university exam of oral pathology okay so this is a brief important questions okay so as the university exams are fast approaching so you should be thorough at least with these important questions okay and you can easily pass the exam because if you learn these 10 long essays the same questions can be asked in short essays also okay so anyone who is thorough with these questions can easily pass in the university exam of oral pathology. Hello students, welcome back to part 2 of oral pathology question paper discussion. Myself Dr. Elizabeth Sojin. So here today we are going to discuss about the 12 must know short essays which you have to learn before the university exam okay so if you have not watched part one of this particular video in which i am discussing about the 10 important long essays do go back and see the first lecture part one which uh, in which i have given detail about which are the 10 important long essays and this part two will be dealing about the 12 important short tests you must learn thoroughly before the university exam of oral pathology okay so let's start 
So let's begin the 12 important short essays you must know before going for university exam of oral pathology. Okay guys, so short essays whichever I have already discussed in among long essays, I am not repeating those questions in short essays. Okay, so you must be thorough with all the questions I have mentioned in long essay part 1 of this video. Short essays are the questions excluding the ones I have discussed already in part 1. Okay, so which are the other 12 important short essays? The first one being dendigerous cyst. Okay, the first one, the important short essay is dendigerous cyst. So, in this dendigerous cyst particular question, if it is being asked to you, you should be thorough about the different types of dendigerous cyst, the radiological types of dendigerous cyst, what is the definition of dendigerous cyst, okay. And you must also write the pathology, histopathology as well as the histological diagram, a neat label diagram of dendigerous cyst must be drawn okay clearly and all the important features histological features must be clearly mentioned okay clear now coming on to the second question mucosine mucosine or mucus retention cyst and mucus extravasation cyst these two are very very important so mucosine it's very very important question third question is dentine dysplasia dentine dysplasia so if you look into the chapter of developmental disturbances uh, along with amelogenesis imperfecta dendrogenesis imperfecta another important question you must learn is dentine dysplasia dentine dysplasia is usually asked among short essay questions uh, and rather than amelogenesis imperfecta and dendrogenesis imperfecta both of them are al asked along with long essays okay that i have already discussed in part one now the fourth important question is adenomatoid odontogenic tumor if you look into the odontogenic tumor chapter and one important question is adenomatoid odontogenic tumor another important question from the same chapter is calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor or they can just give you in the question paper as pin box tumor okay pin box tumor so that is another term for ceot both are the same so if anything is asked ceot or pin box tumor you have to write the same answer ceot okay now the sixth important question is verrucous carcinoma very important a neat label diagram of verrucous carcinoma is very very important you should also give uh, important histological features you should mention okay and the pathology very very important now the seventh important question is hodgkin's lymphoma if you look into the diseases of blood chapter okay hodgkin's lymphoma the tumor chapter the hodgkin's lymphoma is given you should be thorough with hodgkin's lymphoma as well as non-hodgkin's lymphoma also the eighth important question is jogren syndrome okay jogren syndrome the radiological features of jogren syndrome is very very important what is the clinical features of jogren syndrome very very important all those things should be clearly mentioned the ninth important question is oral manifestation of aids okay oral manifestation of aids so aids as you know it's a acute immunodeficiency syndrome so as dentist we must be thorough about the oral manifestation what are the clinical features orally which you can see in the aids patient so that question is very very important the tenth important question that too very very uh, current scenario level it's very very important the white fungus or candidiasis okay very very important question so nowadays in newspapers as well as in tv channels they discuss about white fungus okay so the same thing is candidiasis so you must be thorough about candidiasis it's a very very important question if you look into the fung uh, fungal lesion chapter you can see bacterial viral and fungal chapter candidiasis is very very important the different types of candidiasis is very important the clinical features uh, and as well as the laboratory investigations for finding out candidiasis is also very very important the 11th important question is Pages disease okay if you look into the diseases of bone chapter pages disease is a very important short essay question okay pages disease and the last important question you must be thorough as iron deficiency anemia if you look into the blood chapter uh, you can see sickle cell anemia pernicious anemia iron deficiency anemia all these three are very very important so uh, they can even ask you as long essay along with long essay also they can ask you otherwise they can ask you in short essay okay so uh, you should be thorough with all these 12 important short, uh, short, uh, short essays which before going for exam at least one hour before you must go thoroughly through these questions okay so to revise it will be very easy if you note down these important questions.